to it man hit that like button subscribe and turn on your post notifications it's free do it for me promo alert promo alert let's get it man listen i'm doing promo twenty dollar promo man twenty dollar promo gonna get you a shout out on my instagram and i'm gonna put you in one of my YouTube videos, $20 promo, that's it. Hey, y'all want to win for the summer, huh? Y'all want to get lit, huh? It going to be a city girl or something, city boy or something, huh? Get your business straight. Hit me up for promo if you want to elevate. Gang. What up, gang? I'm back with another video, man. If y'all haven't already... Go check out the video and watch the video that I put up on the screen. Um, Dirk pushed the fan at his show, right? They say he was disrespecting Vaughn. So the fan respond and let us know what exactly happened. The fan is an NBA Youngboy fan. He went there with an NBA Youngboy shirt. Look, Dirk came out on Vaughn song. And he seen the fan in the crowd with the NBA Youngboy shirt. He stopped the music, went to holler at him, and told him, Hey, I'm really on this gang shit. I do this and whatever to you. The fan told him, Listen, I'm a Youngboy fan, so it's basically whatever. You feel me? And Dirk pushed him. He tried to go lunge at Dirk, and the security pushed him. Now, from the video y'all see, the fan wasn't even scared. He was really on that. Like, he was on that. And he paid <laughs> just to go to that motherfucking concert and let it be known why be better. You feel me? Y'all know they got that saying and, and, and young boy put up that uh, billboard, why be better. Listen, this is what I tell y'all. NBA young boy fans, he got a cult following. Them motherfuckers different. They support them no matter what. No matter what, they gonna support and they gonna ride. This motherfucker spent his money just to go to a little dirt concert and show a little dirt young boy shirt. These motherfuckers different, man. These motherfuckers different. But like I always say though. It's all fun and games and cool, you know what I'm saying? But the fans got to be fans, man. Stop putting yourself in these rappers' beef because these rappers don't know y'all. You feel me? Y'all put yourself in these rapper beef and something go down, the other side start beating y'all ass. The rapper that y'all trying to take up for going to walk right past y'all. They don't know y'all. They don't give a damn about you. Just be fans to the music, gang. Stop going out here and putting yourself in these rappers' beef. Especially when somebody done died. It's, it's beyond just trolling. It's beyond bullshitting. It's beyond beef. It's serious now. Blood has been shed. Blood has been shed. People has died from both sides. 
Y'all don't know. A lot of people don't know that. I made a video on this too. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say y'all make sure y'all subscribe and go check out all the videos that y'all have missed. I made a video on this too. The reason why Dirk talking this shit and make that song I high, high and he's saying he got to get back, y'all just don't know. All right. Rondo, uh, Kondo Rondo, his homie, his best friend, was killed months after Von died. Remember when they had that shootout? When uh, Kondo Rondo had that show and nobody showed up? And it was a shootout. They say it was some people by the interstate shooting at Kondo Rondo them while they was at the gas station. And one of his homies got hit in the hand. But they did shoot back. A couple months after that, his close friend got killed. And Dirk is a legend on the song that they got get back for one. He said on the AHA song, we got get back. Y'all just don't know it. And he also say, it was us. If you don't believe it, he'll show you. And he talking to Kondo Rondo. He ain't talking to the fans. He talking to Kondo Rondo like, we did that to your homie. And if you don't believe me, I will show you and let you know that I did it. I give you detail to let you know that I did he also subliminal told like y'all don't be in y'all hood. Y'all be in apartments. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all fans got to chill out, man. But I ain't going to cap. Jit was on that. He was ready. And I think if that security guard went there and they was in the street, he would. I ain't. I don't know who would have won, but hey, it would have been a fight. He went back and down. As soon as Dirk pushed him, he ran towards him. But the security was there. And Dirk backed up and walked away. He ain't want no smoke with that fan, man. Hey, but y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification. It's free. Do it for me. Okay. Y'all already know how we come in, nigga. Satisfying that nigga, that's that nigga. That's why y'all told me to talk to him. Listen, we be hustling, hustling.